there you can sort of see that there's a little tiny copse of elm unfortunately this one looks like it's died from like there's holes in it like there's beetles been in it but yeah it's probably in the whole of this area of the south of england unless there's other little tiny spots of elms where there's still mature elms growing So the idea of these new brackets are, for instance, if we look at this log here, we put the first cut system on three, three meters and the end rungs are overhanging, but we want these end rungs to slide down to here. So I'll, all I've got to do now is loosen off four um, uh, uh, bolts here, but they're all quite large, easy to get to, and the rung should slide. So now this has been loosened off, you can see it slides down, we can slide it right to the edge exactly where we want it, position it. I can't really do it too uh, single-handed. So all, then I've got to just tighten those up again. Jobs are good. So especially now that these rungs are on these, it can slide it back and out the way and then use these, uh, these are the 180 mil fixing brackets because from there to the center of the tree, it's about 34 centimeters. Um, we're gonna do some better wedges than using just ordinary felling wedges for doing these little props areas. And then when you look at here, let's do that. when you look at this end here, where we screwed, this end's got the flare, it's got the buttress, and the distance from the bottom of the rung there to the center of the tree is 40 centimeters. So we wanna really, if we can, we wanna get the first cut off so that we are uh, more or less parallel to the centre of the tree, and that's how we can do it. You know, this is this is what these uh, end brackets are all about, really, because then you can lift the lift the tree up from this end, and it's absolutely solid. It really is solid, completely solid, um, and that way we'll be milling much more in line with the centre of the tree on subsequent cuts. You can see I'm still cheerfully using Espen 2T. I think it's just, uh, it makes everything a lot easier for me. Um, Pre-mixed and I don't do that much milling these days. I haven't got to work, work, worry about fuel going off or anything like that. I do highly recommend it. If you're milling and worried about the cost, you should be producing far more in terms of timber volume uh, compared to what the cost of using this fuel is extra. Yeah, so we've uh, taken the first cut there, and it says it does. It does a really good job. Um, lovely and flat, and we know that that is uh, pretty much in line with the centre of the tree. And we'll measure that in a sec, just to check. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it'd be nice to be close to perfect. Paul. My baby. How do you think that's going, Paul? You well, pleased? It's not too bad. It only took about 15 minutes to set the whole thing up. Yeah. And a uh, couple minutes to cut this. And there you go. Yeah, it's cutting it like butter. Fabulous system. I